we have the cervical mucus mm-hmm. method. Mm-hmm. With the cervical mucus, it's for the woman mm-hmm. to actually monitor uh, mucus on daily basis. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. So then, when she's after the menses, she's able to monitor. Mm-hmm how the mucus changes okay so during ovulation Mm -hmm. and during ovulation is that time when she's likely the egg has been released so if there's a sperm Mm -hmm. it will fuse and she conceives during that time Mm -hmm. uh, she's able to monitor that the mucus Mm -hmm. has actually changed Mm -hmm. during ovulation the mucus is very clear okay it's very clear Mm -hmm. and quite thin okay. yeah mm-hmm. so for a woman to use this method she has to also learn how this how our mucus behaves okay. but you see with this uh, kind of method it becomes also quite hard and especially for someone who gets a uh, infection mm-hmm. okay. uh, from uh-huh. time to time because if you have infection mm-hmm. you might not notice when mm-hmm. the mucus is actually okay. changing uh-huh. yeah okay uh, apart from that, we also have mm. the um, we have the calendar method. Okay. Just before we go to the calendar method, I have a question <laughs> right there yeah. at uh, the the mucus one. Yeah. So you've talked of uh, when a woman is ovulating, their mucus is a uh, clear, more y- clear. Yes. Okay. Yes. So like, how many types do we have? Like, what what does a normal mucus or cervical mucus look like? Uh well. <laughs> This question is very subjective mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> because mm-hmm. one person will have a different a mucus. Different one. Yes. Oh, okay. But normally a mm-hmm. normal mucus mm-hmm. is um he's like whitish okay. and not smelly at all. Oh, okay. Yes. Mm-hmm. And the reason why women get mucus maybe to be clear because most of us will mm-hmm. get mucus and mm-hmm. we feel that we are sick. Okay. Um in the vagina, mm-hmm. if I may say, mm-hmm. uh the the area is acidity okay so we have the mucus being produced Mm -hmm. uh over and over again Mm -hmm. to ensure that it's acidic all the time Mm -hmm. clearing any kind of infection Mm -hmm. we call them the right the good bacteria if i may say for Mm -hmm. lack of a better word Mm -hmm. for everyone to understand So these mucus are just there. Mm-hmm. And that's why most of the time we advise our women, mm-hmm. when you are taking shower, don't use soaps on there, don't mm-hmm. use this and that, mm-hmm. because then you will be interfering okay. with that pH. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So what happens is uh, now, for the woman to use this mm-hmm. method now, mm-hmm. you have to know that this is my usual mucus. mucus. Mm-hmm. And remember during uh just before your menses the mucus mm-hmm. might also change, change. yeah okay. they might become a bit thicker than mm-hmm. the usual mm-hmm. so it's important for you to decide that you're actually using mm-hmm. you have to know exactly how mm-hmm. you've been and also monitor yourself a number of months Absolutely. Yeah? yes mm-hmm. but for sure the um, ovulation mm-hmm. during ovulation period okay. the mucus is clear mm-hmm. clear come is it sticky not, not really because okay. it's thin okay yes mm-hmm. but very clear mm-hmm. so you would always also know that for sure mm-hmm. you're ovulating okay yeah so during that time mm-hmm. you abstain okay yeah all right mm-hmm.